local time is 12.22. Hi. Hi guys. Welcome to the first vlog of 2024. I'm so excited. Let's see, it's January 9th. We're in Aspen, Colorado. Brent and I for a little, I almost said staycation. We're in Aspen for a little vacation. We came for a few days. I'm so out of breath because I'm rushing to get ready. Brent's already down at the bar. I'm trying to decide if this is what I want to wear. We're going to dinner tonight. And I have this furry tube top on. Also, this detaches, so maybe I'll just detach it. And then I'm just wearing these jeans that, honestly, I wore on the plane today. Um, and I wasn't planning on bringing them. And then I was like, well, if I want them, I'll, I'll have them anyways. And I'm ending up wearing them the first night. So that worked out. They're from Zara. They're really cute. My belt is rag and bone. Top is from Revolve. I'm going to go meet Brent. He's down at the bar already without me. <laughs> I told him to go get a drink because I wanted to... Take my time getting ready. Cheers. Okay, not gonna lie, I'm a little drunk. I don't know if it's the altitude, if it's the fur. The faux fur. Or if it's the um, love in the air, but Aspen. 100% love in I just wanna like unpack like the slightest bit. I don't need to go crazy. No, You're no, gonna no. end up packing, unpacking your whole bag and we're gonna... No, 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 I just wanna put my... I just wanna find my coat that I'm gonna wear to go out on the town. Where are we even going right now? Okay, who knows? <laughs> we're literally just going out. I made a coffee. This coffee is so good. It's the Illy machine. Mmm. Thinking about wearing this out on the town. Let me see. Wow. Cheetah. Cheetah girls, cheetah. cheetah sisters. The brains got the power and we speak the truth. Walk everywhere, all around the world, and you best respect the cheetah girl. Anyways, this hat is so warm, I think I actually am gonna wear it. Should I not wear this? Should I not wear this? Look at me and tell me if I should wear this. Okay, outfit of the night. It's giving. Cheetah girls. <laughs> Cheetah sister. Outfit update. Let me give you a full view. Talk to us. Oh, didn't see you there. <laughs> Welcome to my Aspen apartment. Let me show you around. Miss Faux Fur. Boots with the fur. The whole club was looking at her. Hey. <laughs> Are you sure? Girl I don't think that matches. Black, that looks way better. Okay. You want the rest or you want me to have it? And what is your fit from? <laughs> Not the Wii's! <laughs> Not the Wii's! What's your fit from? Go ahead, baby. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> yes, you do. You buy your own clothes. I don't even know where you get your shit. Zara, Abercrombie. Abercrombie, Abercrombie Zara, Zara, Converse. Converse. It's snowing! Yay! Oh, oh my goodness! Look at how beautiful. That's where we're going. Brent got the lay of the land earlier when I was getting ready. He was at the bar, and the bartender gave him all the what? Just kind of the spots. Let's go when that sun goes down. Feels good though. Mm. Oh. 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 <laughs> We're walking that over Mexican to. Fine. Let's go to Mexico. He was talking about. I forgot the name. Oh, um, we're going to Hotel Jerome to get some apps. Good morning. Anyways, Brent's on a couple work calls downstairs. I'm gonna go meet him down there. He brought me a coffee up. It's already 8:30, and. I like need to get the day rolling. I'm gonna go downstairs, see what's going on. And then he said there was like really good donuts down there. So I'm gonna go check that out. Then I'm gonna come back, get ready.
such a stunning premises. It's the coolest thing. If you guys are not skiers, but you've always wanted to come, it's so fun to like watch everybody ski down and be feel like you're a part of it without being a part of it. No, you're right. It's so beautiful. Brent and I just went up and ate at the sun deck. So good. It was so good. The food was like some of the best food I've ever had. And I was like, how do they get the food up here? Yeah, how small the town is if you... If you like, yeah, you can see the whole Aspen. And we're at the Aspen Ski. There's different ones. Yeah, I don't know. I guess this is Aspen. This is just called Aspen. And ski then they have Snow Mass, which a lot of people were talking about. And then they have uh, one for beginners called uh, buttermilk, which I was gonna try and book lessons, but you, you, the shortest amount of time a lesson is is three hours, so it just no, is, it was too, um, too long for how long we're here. Anyways, we're coming down to the bottom, and we're gonna go back we're to so the low. hotel and change, and then we're gonna go shop in the town, because we, all the stores were closed last night when we were walking around, and we're gonna go to the little now for, what? Dinner no, or drink? I was just curious where it was. No, I thought later we were gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna go to the uh, Hotel Jerome first. Though. Oh yeah, Hotel Jerome. But, look okay, at how cute this place is. I'm, I'm really obsessed. This is definitely not the last time that we're here. Go ahead, man. Thank you. That's where he was like, oh, is because like they never- Okay, just came back, changed. We had a little coffee. We drank it in the lobby. And now we're gonna go shop. My favorite stores are here and I'm so excited. It's just the cutest town. This is what I'm wearing. This coat is from Naked. I'm just gonna wear my moon boots because they, um, this is my first pair of moon boots and they, shockingly, I thought they were just cute boots, but they keep your feet so, 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 so warm. And yeah, so that's what I'm wearing. I don't know why I can't vlog. I haven't vlogged in three weeks, so I can't vlog anymore. I love your coat. Thank you. Do you want me to break the back? Oh? You're supposed to break the seam on the back. Yeah. Proud of you. <laughs> cool. That's a wrap, Aspen. That's all she wrote. We love you. Is that even on me? What were you pointing at? Okay. okay. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Ooh, it's snowing. Ooh, it's snowing. Look His at eyeball it's fell out. A baby snowman. <laughs> it's beautiful. What's in my hair? Oh, 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 oh no hair. It's no hair. Yay! We are tested and we are tested right now. We are not Is it cold? We're going to blow it. You're going to blow it? We're back from Aspen, and we brought the weather with us. No, 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 no. I'll tell you who doesn't know how to drive in the snow. My friend, no. Everybody in the city of Tennessee. My friend, it's no. actually horrible. But honestly, the back roads are super scary. Can you put water on your thing still? Or No, it's frozen. Oh, it's frozen? Yeah, I tried this. Because I was trying to do that when I was driving. And you're, I thought you were out. But anyways, we're going to Costco to get, we need toothpaste, we need toilet paper. Toothpaste, toilet paper, you gonna make a list? Yeah. I'm wearing blue lights, cause I, my skin, I just feel like it's so dry. I have a bunch of that Oak Essentials balm, which is my absolute favorite. I've talked about it a million times at this point. Is she like, what is she doing? 
um and it feels so good on my skin but anyways i just feel like maybe my spray tan's wearing off and i felt just ugly whenever i feel ugly i put blue lights on um what are you doing girl you need some help guys hey I said, yeah. Bye. Done with our Costco run. I cannot get over how cold it is here. <sighs> Why is Costco always packed? Like no matter what day, what time. I just feel like there's always a million people, but I just love Costco so much. If you do not have a membership, what are you doing? That is like the best avocado toast I think I've ever had. Not even saying this, like I've just been making this every single day. So I have like perfected it. Um, I'm doing it on ciabatta. This, this step doesn't matter. Normally I use sourdough bread, but we got these really fresh ciabatta buns and I have been eating like one a day. They're so good. It's a pretty big one. I'm, I'll probably just use a half. Oh my god, it's actually perfect. So I'm going to start with a half of an avocado and a little bit of olive oil. Salt. Some pepper. Red chili flakes. Toast this up. Then in the meantime, I'm going to mix some of this. You can use microgreen or this is yeah micro arugula the micro broccoli it all tastes the same honestly and then i'm gonna do a tiny bit of oil a tiny bit of vinegar let's just toss everything with my hands then i'm gonna mix in a tiny bit of this this is called butter butter it's a craft butter i have the garlic parmesan one and i'm gonna mix some of that into the avocado spread sometimes when i am lazy i will spread it on first and then i'll put the avocado spread on top every time i like take my time and put a lot into it it always tastes like 20 times better i'm gonna let that cool before i spread anything on ever since i got this basil plant i have been putting basil on everything so this step is optional if you don't love basil it tastes so different when it comes straight from the vine this is what i need to get those juices out of the leaf i make this like oil dip for bread at night for like a little snack it helps my cravings even though it's probably not the best thing for you and I'll put like four basil leaves in it and I'm legit just eating straight basil with bread. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna top that with the spread. And then I'm gonna do a tiny bit of balsamic glaze. Spread it out. This is the everything bagel seasoning. And then for the fun part, we're gonna top it with arugula mixture with the oil and vinegar. I feel like all of these flavors just come together so perfectly. When I rush make food and when I rush eat, I'm like still so hungry. But when I like lay everything out, take my time, I feel so much more satisfied, so much more full. These are pickled onions that I made. I'll put the recipe below. It's like three steps. It's very easy and it's, so amazing. I put these on everything too. I am the biggest fan of pickled onions. The best topping and they make everything so colorful. I kind of load up, but this step is optional too because not everybody loves pickled onions. Best avocado toast you'll ever have. Mark my words. If you make this, tag me or send it to me on Instagram because I can't wait to ask you how obsessed you are with it. These dipped in ranch are the most underrated snack of all time. I used to eat this when I was a kid. Anyways, we just got done filming this makeup look. I'm gonna get back into my like posting things that I love. 
I love makeup, I love fashion, I love wellness, all things you guys know. If you follow along here. And I know nowadays people have like niches and things that they stick to, but that's just never been me. I've never been like specifically a workout girly or a makeup girly or a hair girly. I know that people like to do that, but I still feel like my, I've never cared to like stick to one thing just to like grow like an audience. I kind of just love being me and like true to myself and doing the things that I love and then whoever wants to follow along can. Oh, we're going to step it up a little bit on Instagram because last year i focused more so on youtube that's not to say that the vlogs this year are not going to be consistent they're just going to be a lot more creative and a lot more is going to be happening within a vlog as you can see this vlog started with aspen and then it's been like sporadic throughout the month of january i'm so excited because i feel like work took the back burner last year i'm excited to dive back in and get really creative again and um is my nipple showing that whole time? Just do all the things that make me happy and I love this space. I do love social media. I'm sharing my life with you guys, so. That's how it's gonna be. I also am drinking <laughs> my mini Diet Coke. Also, I forgot about my new vlog camera. Um, and so the beginning clips are on. I'm just so used to grabbing my other camera and I brought my G7X camera to Aspen with me. And so we make did with that one camera this is my like home vlogging camera and this one's so much better mm. let me know if you could tell a difference and if you like one versus the other or like the audio on one versus the other but anyways brunch just got home i'm eating a snack my in-laws are on their way over to hang out We're gonna get some lemonade. You were sleeping like a, like a, a crazy lady. You had your neck all crooked. <laughs> yes, does your neck feel okay? Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. I'm going to the beach. What? A beach house. No, we're not at a beach house. We're at our friend's house. This is Jen's house. Jen and Coach Charlie's house. Oh. Um, um. Sky and I are going to go look at a couple houses in this one neighborhood that are going to be finished here in a couple weeks. So I'll take you guys along to that. Um, and I'm hoping that I fall in love with one of them because there's nothing else. Like the market here is crazy. There's just nothing. Um, so if I don't, if we don't love one of these. Hello? Bounce around from hotels to back home. But I'm in the process of putting, registering her for school here. Okay, I just got ready. We woke up at our friend's house today. The last time that they saw each other was a while ago. I think it was Sky's first birthday. So it's been like a year and a half, but they were playing this morning. <laughs> they were so cute. And yeah, we just had a good time. I'm glad that we stayed here because we got to catch up. And Why are you so cute? <laughs> I like it. Cheers. And my baby cup. I'm making it. How did you get such a cute baby cup? No. It's a green. I love it. Ready? 
This hotel is so cool. Look at this guy. Oh, it smells so good in here. Queen. Okay, I'm so excited. All of my stuff came in from Ballerina Farm. I made a huge order of like the sourdough starter kit, the flour. Tell me why I ordered 25 pounds of flour. I did not even look at the size. I was just like, oh, high protein flour. Yeah, let me use what she uses. Um, but anyways, if you haven't heard of the Ballerina Farm, I feel like everybody has at this point. I'm kind of late to the game. She is just the cutest little homemaker on their farm with all their kids and it's like a life that i would love to live for like a week i could not sustain a life like that but when it comes to the stuff in the kitchen that is like what i'm obsessed with so i'm really excited to start making my bread from scratch making sourdough bread at home i have my little starter um notes here which i'm about to do and set up so that it will be ready to go i'm opening a few packages right now i got some new makeup from chanel and i'm really excited i've been wanting to try this forever oh water fresh tint it's like a very lightweight foundation i'm pretty sure oh it comes with a brush everything is just chanel just does everything so beautifully we got a blush I haven't gotten new makeup in a really long time. So this will be fun to play with. Hi, why are you so flat? Why are you so flat? You are so cute, me did the boo boo. Hi to you. Did you miss me? Oh my God, Miley, you are so beautiful. You're like actually so beautiful. Kiss. Let me get this out of the way. Um, I'm getting a bunch of stuff up on Poshmark right now. We're just getting back into town. Sky and I went for a quick 48 hours to our new town that we're moving to. Um, and I'm editing this vlog right now, so I kind of talked about it a little bit. I don't even, I forgot that I hadn't even like told the vlog that we were moving. For some reason, I just thought everybody knew this. We knew that we were going to be moving but we didn't know where for a long time and i actually thought we were going to be moving to three separate spots like i had a house picked out and everything in well in one of the areas at the last minute this new job opportunity came through for brent and it is really exciting one really big deal i'm really excited for him um and just like this next chapter i'm mostly excited because we are familiar with a lot of the staff we've coached with them before so a lot of the wives i go way back with we actually there's three of us that were lived in tampa together and our husbands all coached together and we all the three of us got pregnant at the same time and had our babies within three weeks but we had gotten pregnant when we were all together and we were so excited because we thought they were gonna like all grow up together. And then obviously this business is so bizarre and we all ended up leaving USF that year. And now all being reunited at a new place is like so crazy, it like blows my mind. God works in amazing ways. I'm really excited for this next chapter. Not only that we know people, I'm excited about that obviously, but this is just a very big, exciting career move for Brent and i'm just so proud of him he is very excited about this and we actually i like never talk about this stuff we have passed up so many amazing job opportunities in the past due to us living by family and working with family brent's dad was the head coach of the university that we were just at and so not many people get to say that they have gotten to coach college football with their dad so we stayed here solely for that purpose and just to be with family, obviously. We just have had an amazing life here for a few years, but it's definitely time for Brent to just flourish and grow. I'm so excited for the season. If you've ever seen the movie Suits, the guy, I don't even remember his name, who is like the, um, has the photographic memory, that is Brent with football. Like he is absolute, an absolute football genius, but then he has the leadership skills and the personality and all his, I just know that 
this career he was made to do this to see him like taking these steps and like always having such amazing opportunities is so inspiring for me and i really look up to him in the sense of not only his work ethic and determination and everything but just like the person that he is and i swear that is like going to take him so far in life and it just makes me so proud of him and i'm just really excited for this next chapter of our lives so um sky and i still have a life here like we're gonna be going back and forth for a while we kind of just went to go visit friends and just like see the town because i had never been before and i'm so obsessed it's like the most charming small town i've never <laughs> lived in a small town um i'm really nervous about that aspect of it but once i saw the town i was like okay wait but this is like it just feels like home already i don't know i've never like been a place where it feels like home like i like it here i don't love it here but i also am the type of person that can make do with anything and just make wherever i am a happy place um because i saw this thing and i was like it's so right to me home is sometimes a person and for us home is our family whether that be you know across the country or what like as long as we have the three of us we'll be good so i'm excited for i'm excited to share everything i am posting this vlog today so i'm not going to share where we're going yet i met so many of you when i was in town looking at houses last week and i'm just it makes me so excited for everything but um a lot of you are probably gonna be able to guess and i don't know when it's gonna be publicly posted but that's kind of what i'm waiting for i don't want to say it now because everything is still in the works kind of i say that but like i think he's fully hired by now but i don't really know so i'm gonna keep my mouth shut um until it's like official on line but that's what's going on as you can imagine this month has been crazy like i said we thought we were going to take three other jobs that we ended up passing up on um and i feel like that happened for a reason because we landed where we're supposed to be so i'm excited oh my god uh yeah so i'm just gonna be chilling today editing and then when it's official i will let you guys know and all that i'll keep you filled in but i'm gonna do a q a on youtube like an old school q a where we just chat about everything i want you to ask me anything and everything and like about like advice too in y'all's lives like i don't want to just sit here and talk about what's going on over here um we can talk about the stages we're going through with the two-year-old like all the things there's just a lot of chaos and hecticness over here but i'm excited to sit down and just catch up and like chat on a friend to friend level because I know this vlog was kind of just showing what's been going on for the last month so uh, stay tuned for that I'm going to post the question box today if you're watching this when it goes live on Instagram so make sure you go and ask questions there we're going to film that this week and get it up for you guys ASAP but I'm so excited for what's to come there's so many changes about to happen and fun trips coming up on top of it all. I'm just really excited for everything that is to come. So love yous and see you in the next video.